hi everyone donut here oh my lord i'm losing my mind i need to get i need to just get off twitter why is twitter i wanted to show you guys a tweet that went very viral i am talking about 1.3 million views viral tonight concerned d of dc led a siren slash noise pollution protest where we blocked off streets in georgetown well, at least now within the first two tweets, I know that you guys are complete assholes. The police presence was heavy. As we blocked off streets, we demanded that people turn around. This was a minor inconvenience for this affluent white neighborhood. As we blocked streets, certain drivers got annoyed and attempted to ma maneuver their way around us, which is their right because you're in the street. This particular white woman tried to cut through a gas station. Me and a couple of other protesters stood in front of her car and demanded she turn around. Instead, she steps on the gas. All right, let's see what stepping on the gas is. What, what do I need to say about this other than how is she in the wrong at all? And she just keeps going. Finally, cops come, but instead of arresting this woman or asking for her ID, registration, etc., they turn towards us and begin pushing us. We are begging them to arrest this woman who just tried to run over protesters repeatedly. I think she was just trying to get away from the angry mob that was swarming and punching her car. Guess why police didn't ask her for any of her information? Because she didn't do anything illegal. They should be arresting you right now. Police continue to refuse to arrest this white woman, citing that since she stayed on the scene, only because we blocked her from leaving, she did not have intent and cannot be charged or arrested. I am exhausted. My hands are shaking. I am angry. As the, the nation returns to complacency, we are still out here. We are still being killed. We are still being brutalized. For every second, our nation forget about us. We get angry. We deserve more. We need more. Anywho's, let's get over to Portland, the happiest place on earth. Well, Portland police are finding more crazy stuff. Tonight, Portland police were near Loads Down Square Park. A person pointed out a bag to them inside the bag police found loaded rifle magazines and molotov cocktails fun stuff the woke.net twitch live stream and the woke.net youtube channel where they keep all the the back videos is turning police into literally batman a u.s marshal service incident management team sat around a conference room table two flights up from the lobby at the marco hatfield united states courthouse in downtown portland each officer focused on a small black laptop handheld radios and large screens at either end exactly what i said the cops are doing right now you peaceful protesters they're seeing your faces your names and all the felonies you're committing acting secretary of the department of homeland security chad wolf tweeted out and said peaceful crowds don't commit federal crimes 20 injuries to federal officers in Portland this past weekend. Sarah Jong tweeted this out and said, here's a video of an arrestee last night that has already appeared on Twitter, filmed from another angle. The feds hold the arrestee down in the gas for an interminable period of time. So I guess the big old meanie doo-doo head federal officers who are protecting the federal courthouse and being injured are holding him down there to just be big old meanie doo-doo head officers. Let's take a look. I guess what the other 700,000 people on Twitter saw is like some kind of police brutality. It's a very simple arrest. Suspects being arrested. He's taken to the ground pretty gently. He puts his hands up in order to get his hands behind his back. Some distractionary strikes are, are uh, done with a baton to his side. He puts his hands behind his back, and then the feds are just having a little bit of trouble getting the cuffs on him. Still no cuffs on. That's why he's still being held down. Still no cuffs on. That's why he's still being held down. Sorry, you guys could probably hear my dog chewing his bone when I was breaking that down. Jeez, is that a good bone, buddy? Jeez. <laughs> if you put yourself in the middle of a riot, don't be surprised when you get tear gas, shot with a rubber bullet, shot with pepper balls. I don't see how people are defending any of this. I am a huge supporter of not doing any of this to a peaceful protester. If you go to the woke.net YouTube channel where they keep all of their VODs, you can watch there's peaceful protest, peaceful protest, peaceful protest. Almost every night, cops don't do anything about it. They let them do their thing. But as soon as like midnight hits, that's when all these white kids and all black and masks and the shields, they go to the federal courthouse and start injuring federal officers. And the federal officers are reactionary about it as heck. They stay inside the courthouse, but as soon as they start catching ball bearings and fireworks and all this other crazy crap these people are doing, then they come out and they clear them out. And that's what you see right here. If you don't place yourself in the middle of a riot, there's a good chance you won't get hurt.
It's freaking crazy, man. I don't see how anyone can defend any of this, including some of my fellow content creators. They're literally using fireworks as IEDs. They're blinding officers with these green lasers. It's been reported that three federal officers have already had permanent damage to their vision because of those bright green lasers. And they're, do and they're doing it every night, man. It's crazy, man. What's up? Butcher's wearing a shirt. That's right. Butcher. He, uh, he's got an infected spot on his chest and he keeps scratching it open. So we're forced to t-shirt <laughs> t-shirt the boy. Come here. You want to say hey to everybody? Oh, he feels sorry for himself. He had to go to the vet today. Hi, baby. Come here. You want to come say hey? He's like, no, I'm dead. You took me to the vet. That's all I have for you today. Uh, make sure to go check out the woke.net YouTube channel. I support the hell out of them because they're providing so much evidence for police and uh, federal agencies. I have a Patreon. I have a merch store with Bunker Branding. And I'm going to be over at twitch.tv slash donut operator as soon as this video is released. I hope to see all your happy, smiling, beautiful faces there. Have a fantastic day. Whacker.